I'm going to Australia in early April to see my family. Oh, that's fucking cool. Is that your first time going? This, like, does your family live there? And like, this is in your, or is everybody meeting up in Australia and you're hanging out? Or are you gonna go there and they already got like a pet kangaroo and first they're just gonna be ever. like, Wait, is this like a family you just found on 23andMe? Like, you're like, what the fuck? My family lives in Australia. I'm going to visit them. <laughs> like, what's the backstory I have a here? Huge part of my mom's family. Oh, dude, that's fucking cool. Do they have any kids? Dude, what do you know about them? Do they have any weird pets? What are you ex what are you hoping? What is what is the one thing you hope to experience in Australia? I have a buddy, he just told me about his Australia story. I actually have it on video. I recorded the whole night. It was a blast. I did an IRL 360 video stream night. It was really cool. Um But he, he told me he went to Australia four years ago. He got arrested in DUI. Was, all he wanted to do was wrestle a crocodile. Like so I would love to have a boxing fight with a kangaroo. Dude, do you ever wonder why kangaroo's arms are so jacked? Like, how are they so jacked? How is a kangaroo's arm so jacked? Like, dude. How so jacked? I just don't understand. Like, what are they? They just... They don't. They hop around. They hop around and they put a little thing in their pouch. Like, dude. How? We don't even know where we're going here. That's so that's number one thing. You want to have a boxing ring? Kangaroos are body builders in their spare time. <laughs> they probably are. Fucking kangaroos are getting it down. They're just they're just jamming it out all day. Just lifting away. <laughs> Dude, how? Did you just box a kangaroo? Like if you and, and how do you know the kangaroo wants to box? Like, are you literally just going to walk up to a kangaroo and deck one? Or are you going to be like, put your dukes up and then you start bouncing around and hope it bounces around with you? Like, how do you, how do you antagonize? How do you, like, how do you know that kangaroo is ready to fight? How do you know that kangaroo is going to box you? Like, do you, so you're obviously, are you going to bring gloves? Are you going to put the gloves on a kangaroo? Are, do kangaroos how have special one gloves? set up a safari fight? Yeah. I would want this is this I this is a tough can we google this is there does google have an answer for this one uh, let's see god I don't even have a fucking death set up this is the world we're going into again and where is this desk there's so many where are you going Dave we have just so many how do we set up all this fucking stream deck all oh, the stream deck. What's this guy? What angle are you on? <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Man. <laughs> New desk, here we go, okay. We Google this. Google this. Uh, oh, Google. Google. Do this math. How oh, to. I use a kangaroo. Kangaroo. What is kangaroo pump? Let's set up a kangaroo fight. When they're in an upright position, kangaroos start the fight by grasping the neck of the other kangaroo with their forepaws. In this high standing posture, kangaroos kangaroos extend their claws. Oh man, we're still fucking in a crazy voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, these lights are, I hear these. <sighs> Dude, you ever just hear electricity in your ears? Man, no, how to set up a kangaroo a, a human, a human verse kangaroo fight. How would how would I set up a fight between a human and a kangaroo? Here we go. Okay, 
according to Kuro.com, how I would set up a fight between a human and a kangaroo. Go to Australia, find a kangaroo, they're everywhere, shouldn't be too difficult, and punch one in the nose. If the kangaroo does not fight back, repeat the process to another. <laughs> so he's literally, dude, Kato, you're just honestly, you're gonna be going around just punching kangaroos in the nose. Please note that I did not endorse this course of action, not because kangaroos are especially rare, but because those lo long legs can carry yeah, a 200 pound kangaroo 30 feet with one hop and kangaroo kicks kicks what bothers them so if you do this on your own on your own head be it so if you do this on your own head can be I it can head but a kangaroo or is only a punch yeah, you're just gonna walk. Dude, that is that honestly is how to start a fight, dude. That 110% is. If you're gonna start a fight, you don't swing a bow. You you get up right fucking in there because your tensions are fucking going, and you just you give a fucking headbutt. And then when they fall back, you probably honestly grab their head and drive it into your knee. Uh, it, I'm just I'm I'm just like that's how to start a fight and end one. So I mean, I I think you're just I mean. I mean, that seems like what you'd want to do with kangaroo because I imagine the kangaroo is going to beat your ass. I do imagine this. I mean, do you really think you're going to stand up to a to that kick? That's a big kick, man. I'll spear a kangaroo. Just spear, dude. Just taking that kangaroo down. Just what if it's got a baby in its pouch and you spear the baby and you slam it into the inside? I don't think you should be spearing kangaroos, man. I don't condone this. I don't condone this whatsoever. I don't I don't think you should be spearing kangaroos. Mm. You should and how do you you just go around punching every fucking kangaroo? This seems so mean. Like what did that kangaroo do to you? Can Mike Tyson beat up a large kangaroo? Here we go. Related questions. Can Mike Tyson Unbeknownst to many outside the re re or out outside of regional Alaska, city folks are about as bad as. Check this shit out. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. If I can get the kangaroo on its back via tripping it, I'll win the fight. Oh, oh dude! I found out how to make my ta uh, how to read or how to write what I say. Like, check this shit out. Dude. The computer is going to type what I tell it to type because I own the computer. I own it. It is mine. Blah. Now just do what I fucking say, computer. Just do what I fucking say. Like, dude, man, it shouldn't be that hard. I tell you to do something. You should just do it. And it, it just fights me. Like, how do I own my computer? But yet I don't. Any, I don't anything it, it will blow up like that it's these are so tough to work I don't understand them um it should just do what I fucking want it to do do the computer is going to type what I tell it to type See? because I own the computer I own it it is mine the computer is going to type what I tell it to type because I own the computer I own it it is mine and now just do it I say come like how do I own my computer but yet yeah exactly but now I want it to read to me like I wanted to read how do I, I make it read to me I could I could make it say what I tell it to say but I can't make it read to me I'd like to make it read to me can kangaroos destroy or kangaroos destroy us Mike Tyson offered a zookeeper ten thousand dollars to punch a gorilla in the face in the late 80s is this is this a real fact Did this really happen can we get a fact check how do I get a fact check on here I think you should do something else in Australia. So what else are you going to do in Australia? I, I mean, you, you can maybe get into boxing match. I just think it has to be a sanctioned boxing match. I don't think you should just walk up to it. I mean, I guess I got, I don't know. Find a, find a gorilla that's feeling frisky, honestly. I mean, walk out. Yeah, I mean, maybe you'll know. Maybe if you see a gorilla being a dick, or not a gorilla. If you see a kangaroo being a dick to another kangaroo, then fucking go up and, and break it up and push that kangaroo back and be like, what's up? Are we doing this? And then you can fight that kangaroo, but maybe... Maybe not just walk up to a random kangaroo and punch him. Maybe pick out like the dick kangaroo and, and fight that kangaroo. This sounds way better. This sounds way better. 
Mike Tyson did offer K to punch a gorilla. Fact. He did. We just fact checked that. That's badass. That's badass. They said, did they say no? Did they, he just offered. They said no, right? I mean, $10,000 is a lot of money. The kangaroo is dangerous to dogs. The kangaroos and dogs get along. Yes. Yes, they're dangerous. We don't need to read any farther. They yes, said very. no. Oh, they said no. Can a kangaroo kill a dog? Yes, a fucking kangaroo can kill a dog. Oh, look at the, that's That's the fucking answer. Right there. <laughs> that's the answer. Fuck yes. That's a fucking... That, that kangaroo will stab your ass. That kangaroo will kill a human. Oh, my God. I mean... The answer is yes. There is no... And the kind of dog because the answer is yes. <laughs> Bro, that kangaroo would fuck me up, holy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't realize this, did you? That kangaroo, oh, dude, that kangaroo probably, if he doesn't curl his hands in, which how's he gonna? I mean, he's got to, he's got to be punching like this, because he can't curl it in like that. He's gonna stab his hand. That kangaroo is either punching straight forward at your ass, and dude, you're you're done for. <sighs> blood squirting everywhere or like um i mean yeah you're you're gonna have to spear this kangaroo if if you pick that fight if you if you break up two kangaroos and they're going at it you're gonna have to control that kangaroo's arms yeah i belief, dude just you gotta really have your arms up but you're gonna take some damage you're gonna take some forearm damage you're gonna take a beating of it you might get some rep muscle ripped directly off the bone that i mean if that goes in and he and it kind of rips through uh I mean, you're, 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 no matter what, I do feel as if you're going to take some damage. So you have to get in that. And, um, I'd Maybe say a headlock would work. Headlock. You'd have to get right up there. Cause I mean, I, I imagine their arms can't, I don't know. Do they pull their, do they pull their babies out of their pouch with their fucking hands? So we need to watch some kangaroo stuff right now. Let's see. Kangaroo. Sleeper hold could be an option. Oh fuck. Look at these things. Oh look at this fucking guy. Is he gonna what is he's just oh he that was fake. Let's see these ones first. The kangaroo the fuck. Must become a fighter. Battles are so brutal that males need years of training to prepare. The effort is worth it because a champion fighter wins privileged access to the females. This meadow is you gotta, we just gotta see these getting down. We gotta see what you're. I mean, it's good. It's good for you to learn about everything that Kangaroo does, so you can start studying them. But dude, look at these. Dude, they already keep their head back. Look at how far they. They're smart, dude. They keep their head way back, dude. You gotta really fucking dig in there. He might try claw me. Not sure how I approach this fight. Dude, look at it. Look at this. You can't get up close to them. Dude, you can't get up close to them. They keep their head way the fuck back. Look, watch this shit. Look, 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 look at him go back and then bam. Oh, dude. The stakes are high. They are so fucking smart. Broken bones and internal injuries. Internal injuries. Broken bones. Look at these fucking guys. Look at, oh, boom. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Right back to you. Oh, shit. Suddenly, look at them. D d it's all over. Dude, jacked up. Look at them just watching. Oh, you did. It's a nasty brawl. Get out of here with that. It's beyond nasty. Holy shit. 
See this fucking guy. Is this gonna happen? Aww, animals. Man punches kangaroo when it places his dog oh. in a headlock. <laughs> the footage you're about to see is being billed as the most Australian thing on the internet. A man going toe to toe with a wild kangaroo to save his pet dog. On June 15th, <laughs> set out on a hunt. Is this your family? Do you recognize any of these people? One last good time before he passed away from cancer. <sighs> the men travel deep into the bush of the outback, searching for a massive wild boar. Their dogs ran ahead of them. The hounds are trained to pick up the scent of the pigs and steer clear of Fuck man, the root had the dog in a headlock. Got a wee bit too close to a yeah, what right. wasted no time grabbing. Prove you're not a robot. What uh, say was up? Canine was in danger. The dog Rusty Dogger. Greg Tonkins ran out to the rescue, ready to go toe to toe with the menacing marsupial. Do you think it was just hugging the dog though? Designed to shield him from the sharp tusks of a wild boar. I'm I'm sure it probably at any given point it could have like kicked in and broke the dog's neck. But I mean, that did look like they were just hanging out, and the dog looked like it was fine. It wasn't gonna like it wasn't pulling. Look at that shit. The dog was able to break free, and suddenly Greg Tonkins found himself face to face with the kangaroo. So he put up his hands. Okay, teams. I'm gonna go Bite waving hand sign, punch, rabbit. A sweeping right bare knuckle. You're leaving us. Long YA. Where are you going, Rocket? But <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming in. Oh God, how you been? <laughs> you have a beautiful evening. I'll be on tomorrow night. Uh, we're doing a podcast with my buddies. Doc was straight chilling with his friend. His dad comes and punches his friend. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Media reports following the match revealed the winning fighter, Greg Tonkins, also happens to be a professional zookeeper. No wonder he had the edge. See a story that really should be animated. Suggest stories to Tomo News now. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be on tomorrow night though. We're doing some duty stream. I, I gotta get all my fucking hockey's working. Kato, you ever play duty? What else? What other animal? What else? What else are you gonna try? Oh, you should wrestle a uh, crocodile. Wrestling. Wrestling. This is. Uh, how do you spell crocodile? Croc. A dial. I do love to see a koala. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Human hugging. Hugging. Koala. How do you spell a koala? Yo. Human, this could be you. I know we're going to find a picture of a human hugging a koala. Look at this fucking koala just cuddling away. This, this you could probably get down on. Does this your family know any koalas? Look how soft that thing looks like it is. Holy shit. That's something to look forward to. I don't think you should look forward to punching a kangaroo in the face. I think if you went to Australia and you told your Australian family this, they'd all laugh at you. So I, look at those fucking things though too. Look at those claws. You think a koala ever, ever gets mad? Naturally, now we have to look up Koala. What did you think that nose feels like? Oh my god. That nose has to be so cute. Dude, look at this fucking thing. Oh, dude, I, I hope one of your family members own a fucking Koala. I hope you can just go there and just like... I'm pretty sure Koalas can be <sighs> aggressive. Yeah. Hi, Prozy. Dude. Prove you're not a robot. He's not a I'm robot. Yeah, apparently they are pretty dangerous in the wild. This is fucked up. I know that they are very smelly. They're very smelly? They just need a bath. If they're in the wild. Well, this one looks like he was eating ass. He does look like he might have ate somebody's ass. Because that's not coffee. He wasn't drinking coffee. He was eating ass. Okay. Yeah. No, okay, let's see. koalas, koala, human, koala fights, koala. A koala fight? Crazy koala fight. Look at how they do that. They just put crazy in front of it and naturally, oh shit. They just eh. until one gives up. 
Koalas are dangerous with the diseases they can spread apparently. What? Well, they probably got shit under their nails and stuff. Look at them. Ah, do they bite you? Ah, is this shit gonna happen right now? Is this gonna go down? He just wants to smell your butt, dude. This is the most boring, boring fight I've ever seen. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Oh, they are fighting. Oh shit. You're gonna pull them down. Oh shit. Oh my god. Look at him. Goodness. He's like really Goodness. fucking attacking. All because he wanted to sit at the top of the fucking thing. What a dick. Yeah, that's definitely koala uh, ass on that other one's face. Look at that butt. Listen to that guy. Fuck, yeah, dude. He left you alone. Relax, dude. You do your own shit now. He's gone. He left you. Oh my god, he left, man. Dude, shit. Look at that fucking guy. Koala's got diseases? So we already learned... What's up with a koala? What's up with koalas? Oh no, wait, look at this. Watch this shit. Are koalas dangerous? Noise. Are koalas dangerous? Yeah, fucking. Are koalas dangerous? Oh, wait, can a koala kill a human? Now, koalas. How are koalas dangerous to humans? This is a totally different format of questions. Oh, probably because I need to click on a question, then it will take me. I don't know. Koalas have very strong front claws. On the front and strong limbs that allow them to climb, yes, very fast. However, you have to be doing something really stupid, like trying to cuddle with a koala to get hurt. Uh -uh. So what the fuck, dude? I feel as if you you can't cuddle with the fucking koala. It is under. It's a uh, worth. It is worth understanding that even tame koalas are no more toilet trained than young human babies. Anyone who doesn't consider that possibly deserves to be pissed on I mean, the only thing and to do koala, koala piss koala comes from eating uh, some kind of leaves. So it's got an interesting smell. Okay. So we're literally, we're ruling out a lot of stuff here um, that you're going to be doing in Australia. What would you do, Prazzy, in Australia? Kato's going to Australia tomorrow. Um, it's, it's actually on a flight right now. To, that would be cool. That would be cool. I think, to, to the power of the internet, you can do it. This is fucking crazy. The internet is nuts. <laughs> Dave, search a place called Townsville. That's the place in going. Dude, we should enter it in the VR. God, I wish I had my VR set up up here. I'd fucking go there right now inside the VR and walk around um, in there. I did that in Jerusalem. Local I had somebody... Bars, music and get to know as many people as possible. Well, hell yeah. She got family there. All right, Kato, you're... Oh, wait, what am I doing here? Town... Townsville. I, I say she with a, because it's Kato, but you're not a she, you're a dude. I need to keep remembering this, right? Is kids, when is Townsville rough? Townsville is considered to be, to have a high crime rate with an overall rating. Oh, dude, shit's going down. You probably will be able to find a fucking kangaroo fighting ring. So if you do want to hug a kangaroo, I mean, there's probably some fighting rings here. This is going to be fucking cool. Townsville is listed as one of the worst crime spots in the world. The Great Barrier Reef? Dude, kangaroos are on the loose causing mayhem. <laughs> no, uh, what's that movie? Over the Hedge. Over the... Uh, and remember that cute fucking kangaroo? That uh, he was actually a dick. He was a huge fucking dick. 
Um, but they saved him. All the, the zoo animals left and they, uh, and they end up taking him with them. Uh, what the fuck was that? He ended up being a dick, but then he was cute and he, he knew how to turn on his eyes and bat you and the people just fall in love with him. Great Barrier Reef. That's going to be cool. Why is why walking around the city at night is considered unsafe? Why the world is fucking unsafe? What is going on here, Cato? What's up with this? Tell Google. Can we can we fucking write in Google and it'd be like, dude, why are you spreading all this hate about Townsville? Look at this. Is this fucking Townsville? What is that? Is that that's like a fucking a uh, stadium arena? Arena, arena, like any arena, arena. Townsville is on the coast and it's a lot of sunshine. A lot of sunshine. Let's uh, let's go fucking walk around it. Let's let's Google Maps this shit and walk around. I would much rather walk around inside of the VR. Let's walk around this shit, man. City fucking view this stuff, man. I can get down there. City view. No, I'm fucking city view. Where should I start? How do I get city view? Is there a fucking city view? City view me. City view me. City view me. City view me. Where's my tunes? Go see the water. Oh, these guys, what do they got? What's dude? No sidewalks. Oh, no sidewalks. I mean, not not right here. Not right here. The building's for lease. Let's go. There's people hanging out. It is. I, so it's sunny all the time. We could. There's gotta be. There's gonna be green grass. It's fucking Australia, dude. Was this area hit by um, the the fires? I, I know I can't go in there. What is this? Oh, that's my fucking place. Look, they want you to drive safe. Shit, I just zoomed way too far. we in. What is that? Where are we going? Where is this thing? Where? I could have swore I just saw that arena. Going way too fast, guys. I'm just trying to get us somewhere. I'm not on this little map anymore. Oh, where are we at? Oh, shit. Okay. We got a museum. South Town said. Oh, we did we go the wrong way? Oh, fuck. We're going the wrong way. Ah, oh, dude, let's go to the secret beach. Can I set a way map there? Oh, dude, I just clicked and I'm fucking there. Let's go to the secret beach. You gotta be kidding me. I can't go to the beach. This Google Maps guy didn't go down to the beach. Seriously? Why the fuck did you not go to... Dude, Kato, while you're fucking there, you go down to the beach. Because this fucking guy didn't take us to the beach. Damn, dude. Why the fuck would he not take us to the beach? Oh, dude, you gotta drive on the opposite side of the road. Yeah. So, oh wait, maybe is this only one road? Where's the is there oncoming traffic? No, there's left lane. Oh yeah, yeah, there, there's oncoming traffic, yeah. Yep, look at that guy coming at you. Yeah, so you gotta make sure you drive on the other side of the road there. That's fucking cool. Oh, I knew this. The Jeff told me that. There's a lot of shipping stuff over here. They got a lot of shipping containers. Fresh food. Where? Where are we going? We can't zoom out anymore. Town center saleability. I want to go there. Take me there. Fuck. All right. Yeah. This is a tough world. A little smoke shack. Huh. 
He's got a dinghy. Oh, here's sidewalk for you. Yeah. Man. So this is where we're going. It's like Queen's Eye. Queen's Side. That's going to be fucking cool. Got zinc refineries. That's going to be fucking sweet. Anybody going down there with you? Roxy, you go, you ever travel anywhere crazy? I haven't been anywhere. We got this damn motor home that we haven't even used all fucking winter. It's so crazy. I had a baby and just haven't went fucking anywhere in the winter. It's so sad. Need to go somewhere. Use that fucking motorhome. Last year we went everywhere. Last summer, this we're going. We're doing a lot of shit this summer, but fuck me, man. We need to start getting out in that fucking thing. Like right now, stupid. Switching life up. I'm. I'm gonna work. Doing my fucking thing. Million ways to make money in this fucking world, and 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 it's not even the make. But it is to make money because you need money to live, but you need fucking happiness aside of that. And, you know, obviously you could do there's a million things to make you happy in this world. But fuck, man, um, to, to, to figure out what to do. But it, it's still it's figuring out how to do make money and doing it. But I'm going to switch up um, my present lifestyle. Um, and go into exactly how and what I want to do. We'll figure out life. It's exciting. It's so exciting. But I, I want to start using fucking getting out, doing all the fucking ideas before they're gone. I'm, I'm just looking at fucking nothing here. I'm not taking any of this in. They got uh, some rainfall in inches, highest rainfall in inches. January rains 101,041 inches. That's a lot of inches. It's very rainy there. That's crazy. It's a lot of rain in January. Highest rainfall in 24 hours. There's no fucking way. It rained 548 fucking inches. Oh, the second thing is in inches. So the first thing, not in parentheses, is in millimeters. And the bottom one is inches. That's still a lot. 21 inches. That's definitely a flood. Like that's 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 a lot. That's I mean you're you're fucking you're flooded out. That's that's a lot. I mean, yeah. In 24 hours. What is highest rainfall? Oh, that probably means throughout the total month. That's the highest rainfall. And the average rainfall for a month is 9.9 .9 inches. And the lowest rainfall for a month is 0.3. That's not a lot of rain. That definitely wasn't the, the month that it rained for 24 hours straight. Or it rained 21 inches in 24 hours. Okay. So January is a heavy month for them. What month is this that you're going? Is it going to rain a lot? Um, going in April. We're going in March, March. Average seven inches, not too bad. Not the entire month, okay. Okay. We got some typhoons. Susceptible to typhoons. The Braxy just said go find some bars and shit. That's cool, dude. That's fucking cool. Just go some, find some bars and shit. Bars, music. Find that. Look at that. That's going to be fucking sweet. This is what the world looks like, though. Man. Man. Yeah, this would be, um, cooler to walk around inside the VR because it's fully immersive. I, I went to um, Jerusalem. I had a, I had a person um, tell me, God, what was the city now? 
um, what was the city? It was where Jacob's crater is. Um, uh, ba, uh, with a B, uh, ba, what is it? was it Jacob's? Jacob's Canyon? Jacob's. It must not have been called Jacob's Canyon. The fuck was it? Um, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Bershada. Here we go. Journey at Jacob. Okay, this is what they call him. Yeah, Bershada. So I went to Bershada, and I laid in the oh dude i could probably find this in the bible right here fuck me dude fuck we could probably find about this because bruschetta we got the fucking bible here oh man so yeah so i walked around this girl was in my chat and i was inside the vr and she was from your so uh, I jumped in and I, I went inside the VR and I went and I walked around her home fucking town and then I eventually laid in that canyon um, and I just looked up at the sky inside the VR and it was so amazing I watched the sunset in this canyon it was so dark overlooking like the, the well in the canyon I wasn't overlooking shit I was just like there but uh, making my way through that city and stuff and then overlooking it it was like farmland meets like a little like a cool old ass downtown um with like alleys and stuff and shops and food it, like it was so cool it's like a little village type but like uh, built up it was cool man and then i i sat inside the crater and i floated up to the sky and i felt what it would be to be Hey, uh, it's crazy, an astronaut. I became an astronaut. I, I went farther and farther and farther from the earth and from the ground, and it just got farther and farther away, and I floated to the abyss, just watching the earth eventually get smaller and smaller as I was one with the stars and the constellations. Up, way up high. So cool. So cool. Addressing the Jerusalem mob arrested in the temple. So I gotta, I gotta get farther than this fucking book. Ministry of Apollo, Jerusalem decree, decree. Did I need to learn to read? This is grammar, grammarly. Harad's violent death. Oh shit. Oh, we gotta find this out because Harad died, and Harad, Harad lied to Jesus. Actually, he didn't lie to Jesus. He lied to the, the wise men. He told the wise men that he wanted them to go and see Jesus. He wanted them to just go and see him and then come back. And um, he wasn't going to do nothing to Jesus. No, he, he was a liar. He was a liar. He fucking, he basically wanted to eat Jesus. This is, this is what happened here. Um... But let's now Harad had been very angry with the people of Turin Sidon but they came to him with one accord and having made Blatus the king's personal aide their friend they asked for peace because their country was so compiled with food by the king's country so supplied because their country was supplied their country was so compiled what the fuck Dave where do you see the words that you read man they asked for peace because their country was supplied with food by the king's country we're just looking down every one of us that's what you do you read down. It's crazy because you look down at Satan 
you look up, ah, Jesus, but you read down or you read in front. How do we read? It's very tough. We all go do different things, man. So on that, on a day, so, so on a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal appeal, sat on his throne and gave an orientate orchin, O-R-A, Orton, or oration, oration, an oration to them, an oration. Uh, is this even a word? Let's see, how do I put this in here? What are we gonna see? Oration. Oration. Oration, no big deal. Fucking easy for her, bitch. Them. And the people kept shouting, the voice of God and not a man. Then immediately an angel of the Lord struck him because he did not give glory to God. And he was eaten by worms and died? What the fuck? Voice of God. What the fuck? And the people kept shouting, the voice of God, and not the voice of a God, and not of a man. Then immediately an angel of the Lord struck him, because he did not glory, he did not give glory to God, and he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of God grew and multiplied. Is the next page? Yeah. That was it. That was... <laughs> Dude, man. He was eaten by worms and died. Oh, man. <laughs> On that note. On that note, oh man, I appreciate when we came in tonight. I'm uh, I'm gonna do this thing called bed. I'm gonna do this thing called bed. We're gonna, Kato. I wish you, I wish you the very best in Australia. Really, really do. That's where you're going, and um, the whole world, Razi. I'm gonna start reading this book. Maybe I should read that book. Before I understand the Adam and Eve, because they were the people were created out of Adam and Adam and Eve in God's image. I'm gonna read your book first. Hopefully your book is easier to read. Yep. Alright. Annie back out. <laughs>